All right, we have a PV equals NRT. That's the uh, ideal gas law. And we can, what we can do is um, put all the constants to one side. Uh, in this case, it says pressure it remains constant. So we can move pressure to the other side. Uh, temperature is gonna change. So we'll just um, rewrite that as V over T is equal to NR over P. So we just divided both sides by uh, pressure and divided both sides by temperature to get all the constants on one side and all the variables on the other side. All right, well, if the right side is just a constant, we can say that V1 T1 is equal to V2 T2. All right, and the reason we need this is because uh, we have a set of conditions that are changing. Something, a gas is being warmed. So we have a before and after scenario. Okay, by the way, this is known as Charles's Law. All right, let's uh, plug, uh, plug these numbers in. Uh, well, first, let's uh, convert these Celsius is to uh, Kelvin. So negative 50 plus 273.15 is uh, going to be 223.15 Kelvin. And then 100 plus 273.15 uh, is going to give us 373.15. So we just uh, add 273.15 to Celsius to get the um, value in Kelvin. All right, so this is going to be uh, T1. This is going to be the second temperature. This is going to be the first volume, and we're asked to find V2. So let's just plug in, uh, or actually we can rearrange this equation to solve for V2, the second volume. So that's going to equal V1 T2 over T1. All right, so now we can just uh, plug and play, plug our numbers in. We have V1 is, uh, there it is, 5.00 liters. T2 is, sorry, 373.15 Kelvin. Uh, T1 is 223.15 Kelvin. And you punch all those numbers in. Kelvins are going to cancel out. You'd be left with liters. Five times 373.15 divided by 223.15. Answer is going to be 8.36 liters. Three significant figures uh, because our least precise measurements have three.